All right, so I'm going to show you guys the advanced keys push button RFID start system um, in my 91 MR2. Um, this is the status LED. Obviously, you can't not miss that. It is extremely bright. Um, I put it right there because it's pretty conspicuous and it doesn't look totally out of place uh, when the car is running or um, at night. That thing's bright enough to light up the entire interior. So it's definitely noticeable in such a small car so that's I mean for me that's really the best place to put it but anyway um, flashing blue like that is indicating that the key is in range um, and also the push button has uh, an amber they call it amber it's more of like a yellow green color but uh, anyway that's indicating that the the key is in range if I press the button one time it's gonna go to green which is accessory and then my radio comes on and all that jazz now you press it one more time now the car is is on just like your key would be it's, it's the same functionality as a regular turn key and then press it one more time it'll go back off at any time you want to start the car you just put your foot on the brake all right it'll start flashing red to indicate that it's ready to start and then you can start the car You do not have to get in the car and go to accessory or go to on or do any of that stuff in order to start the car. All you have to do is get in, put your foot on the brake, and push the button down and it'll start. Um, you can choose to set up tackless or tack ignition. Now, tack ignition means that you press the button, you just tap it, you know, press it one time, then it will make the starter crank until the car is running. Now the little computer will learn the optimal amount of starter runtime to start your engine flawlessly every time. Um, and it's pretty simple. It's just one wire to the tack. Um, I chose to do tackless and all tackless means is you're just going to press and hold the push button until the car is running. I mean that's all it is. It's just like putting a key in and turning the key and holding it until the car is running. Um, I like that a little better. It still adds, uh, it still maintains that you know you are starting the car. You know what I mean? That that feel of putting in and turning a key. Whatever. It's just my preference. You guys do what you want. But um, and then to turn the car off all you gotta do is press and hold the button and it'll turn off. Now, if the car hasn't been running very long, like it just has, then for whatever reason, there's a delay in turning the, the car off. Um, I don't know why the computer does that, but it just does it for some reason. Uh, if I'm driving around, you know, and I get out and push the button, it'll turn off immediately. Um, but with, you know, just a quick on, let it run for a minute, and then turn it off, there's some kind of delay. I haven't had a single problem with it. Uh, with the car or the buttons or anything so maybe it's just part of the the way that it works but who knows um, I'll show you if I get out of the car and walk out of range of the antenna which I installed right here on the inside of the dash it's really the best place that I've found for the antenna uh, it gets the best range with it being hidden because personally I don't like all kinds of weird things looking out of place and everything so they recommend you putting it um, right on the glass I was not gonna do that uh, and they say that you have to keep it away from metallic surfaces and and don't enclose it in anything so I fiddled around with it until I determined that this right here is really the best place to put um, you have two antennas so you really could put one there and you could put one on the other side of the car um, but I put one there and I put one in the trunk and I'll show you that in here in just a minute But uh, anyway, if I get out and the key leaves the the area of signal the range then The lights are gonna flash and the horns gonna beep telling me that I left the door open So if you you know, you don't shut your door all the way obviously it's gonna tell you Hey, come come close me. But uh, anyway, so I'm back in range. Um, the range for me, this this works absolutely fine. Um, every time I walk up to touch the to get in the car, or touch the door handle, the car is already disarmed. 
by the time I have my hand on the door handle. Now I don't have power locks because this is a base model and I'm going to put a, a power lock on here pretty soon um, but then it would automatically unlock and then when you leave, once again you leave the range of the antenna then it'll lock the, the doors and arm the alarm. So the alarm, I'll show you guys that. I'll leave the range of the antenna. My lights will flash three times showing that it's armed. Now you can choose to, here you can choose to have a horn um, function where you can hook a little siren to it, you know, like other cars have the little, the little beeps that show that it's locked. Um, you don't have to do that. I don't like it. Personally, this horn, I mean, it's a small car, it's a small horn, it just, it sounds retarded. Especially every time you walk up to the car, the horn honks, and then you walk away from the car, the horn honks a couple times. I chose not to do that. Obviously, you know, everybody has their own preference. But anyway, three, three flashes is locked. I walk back up to the car, still being armed. The status LED is blue, red, blue, kind of like cop lights to show that, um, you know, that it's armed. All right, and if I open the door, the alarm will go off. All right. And then the light, the light flash. So, and then the status LED now is red to indicate that the alarm went off at some point. And then, uh, that'll go off once you get in and, and start the car, you I mean, know. We'll put it to accessory. Right, and then it'll go back to normal operation, actually, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, oh, the, uh, the rear end. You don't always need to get into your you know the car up there and because the range is so crappy with that one antenna it does not pick up at all when you're back here towards the back of the car see the car just armed um, now if I walk up to my trunk right here then it just disarmed and that's because I put the rear antenna I put it right there that circle that black circle this all right so I installed that right there so now if I have to get in my, you know, my car, like if I just bought groceries or something, and the first thing I'm doing is going to the trunk to put them in the, you know, put them in the trunk, then it'll automatically disarm there. Um, and of course, I still have to pull my keys out anyway. So the range on this is terrible because it's enclosed in a metal box, which is exactly what they tell you not to do. But I don't need long range because really it's specifically just to walk up and open my trunk. Um, and then like I said the other one I put up there in the dash it picks up on both sides of the car passenger or, or driver and from either side you know if I walk up to the car this direction or if I come up from this direction it works fine every time like I said by the time I have my hand on the handle the car is unlocked and I don't have to move slow it's just a normal walk up to it and bam you know it's unlocked um, other than that, there's really nothing to show about it. You can set remote start up if you want. I don't really care about doing that, especially with a stick. It's just really more trouble than it's worth to me. Um, and anyway, here's you know my car. It's a 91. Um, I've had it for, um, well, I've had it for a year now, almost exactly a year. Wanted one of these things, things forever. Um, Bought this one, had it shipped over um, from Iowa, live in North Carolina. And uh, the next thing I need to do is put wheels and tires on it. Um, I blew the engine, well I didn't blow the engine, I let someone borrow it and they blew the engine for me um, and I put my dream motor in it. So that's where all my money went and I'll show you guys that real quick. Are you ready for it? There she is. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> but anyway, like I said, that's what I put all my money into. Um, and next, of course, will come wheels and tires. 
because it really needs wider tires and wheels. Um, but next will come that, and then I'll do a brake kit on it, and then uh, repaint it. And you know, I got lots of plans for it. It's my dream car, so you know, it'll take some time. But anyway, if you guys have any questions with the install, uh, let me let me know. I'd be glad to help. Um, and it's it's really straightforward. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy your system if you decide to put one in. Thanks.